It's all staged for Netflix. Harry lost solo over threat from crisis hit Netflix to spill the beans. Prince Harry is playing up a special relationship with the Queen to ensure he maintains credibility in America amid the Sussexes deal with Netflix, in the opinion of a royal author. Investigative journalist and award-winning biographer Tom Bauer told Mail Online that he thinks the Duke of Sussex is playing up his relationship with his grandmother to prevent the palace from dampening the Sussex's marketing efforts and commercial endeavors beyond the royal family. Bauer, who is currently writing a biography on Meghan Markle, said he thinks that Harry is hitting out at those standing in the way of promoting the Sussex's self-promotion. To enhance his credibility in America and for Netflix he needs to, play up, a special relationship with the Queen. Bauer's comments come off the back of Harry's latest interview in the US, in which he placed doubt over whether he would attend his grandmother's Platinum Jubilee celebrations in London in June amid the ongoing security row with the UK's home office, adding, home for me now is, you know, for the time being, it's in the States. And it feels that way as well. Harry also spoke of his really special relationship with the Queen despite the highly publicized drift between the Sussexes and the royal family. Meanwhile, another royal expert today alleged the Sussexes could face pressure from Netflix executives to produce more royal content after the streaming service lost 200,000 subscribers in the first three months of this year. And bosses at the California-based firm will be looking to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex to help revitalize it after they signed a deal worth $100 million in September 2020 but have not yet finished producing any content. Now, royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliams has warned of possible pressure from Netflix executives to get more royal content, but he added that filming anything with other members of the royal family was highly unlikely. Mr. Fitzwilliams told Mail Online today, when Harry and Meghan signed up to Netflix for a deal worth $100 million, £77 million, according to the New York Times, in September 2020, the company appeared to be riding high with a huge and expanding reach owing to the pandemic. It was undoubtedly a cachet to have two royals with a high global profile as well as produce the crown which, though controversial, was an international hit. A year and a half later they have actually produced absolutely nothing. It is true that they have announced two series, Heart of Invictus which will follow competitors to the games, which were Harry's creation, and which were postponed twice owing to the pandemic and Meghan's animated series for children, Pearl, about a 12-year-old girl. The dramatic news today that Netflix are now losing viewers, introducing advertisements and trying to crack down on the password sharing which is costing them revenue has led to their shares crashing by 25%. It will undoubtedly lead to a demand for a great deal more from the Sussexes including some actual content. The original announcement promised documentaries, children's programs, scripted shows and feature films. It is surely time Netflix had value for money and it sounds as if they need it too. He added, there might well be pressure from Netflix executives to get more royal content in what they produce. It is highly unlikely that it will actually involve the filming of or interviews with any members of the royal family. One of the reasons that the Sussexes had to step down as senior working royals was that commercial ventures have to be separate from royal duties. They chose the road they are now on. It comes after Netflix's customer base fell by 200,000 subscribers during the January to March period, and it is now projecting a loss of another 2 million during the April to June period. Taunting the California-based company after it posted its losses, billionaire Tesla magnate Elon Musk said, the woke mind virus is making Netflix unwatchable.